President. The Senator from New Hampshire. Thank you, Mr. President. I, I want to thank my colleague from Pennsylvania, Senator Casey, for his leadership on Amendment 2172, which is very important. And I appreciate that what he just said on the floor, the cases of the bravery of Afghan women, the leadership that they have shown under tremendously difficult circumstances, and how the sacrifice that we have made to ensure that Afghanistan and our men and women have made in uniform to ensure that Afghanistan does not become a haven for terrorists again. And one of the keys to that is that no society can be free, no society can have true safety and security unless the women in the society also have safety and security. And I want to thank Senator Casey for his leadership of ensuring and standing by for Afghan women uh, because we cannot succeed in Afghanistan if women go back to what they endured under the Taliban, which was horrific and was wrong and none of us should accept. So he really has been a leader on this, and I thank Senator Casey for being so concerned about what will happen in Afghanistan to make sure that it never becomes a haven for terrorists again but that women in Afghanistan can live with security and women and girls can go to schools and that they can contribute to the Afghan society to ensure that Afghanistan uh, can have free elections, to have Afghanistan uh, be a place where women will no longer be brought into soccer stadiums and violated. And so I want to I want to thank Senator Casey for for uh, this amendment and bringing it forward, and I'm very proud to co-sponsor it. Uh, as Senator Casey talked about, what our amendment would do is would ensure that adequate staffing and of polling stations by female officers when they have elections would improve the security of those stations to make sure that women come, can come forward and vote increase the awareness and responsiveness among Afghan National Army and National Police personnel regarding the unique challenges women confront when joining those forces. And yes, women are now, some of them are joining uh, the Afghan forces to defend their nation. It would focus on improving the recruitment and retention of women in Afghan security forces. And it would ensure that as we enter the bilateral security agreement, that DOD will produce a strategy to promote the security of Afghan women and girls. And so these issues are very, very important. And our men and women in uniform, I want to commend them for everything that they have done in Afghanistan to prevent Afghanistan from being a haven for terrorists, to ensure that women and girls can live securely and won't be violated the way they were when the Taliban were in charge of Afghanistan in ways that the images that so many of us saw were just beyond the word outrageous. We, we can't even describe the horrific way that women and girls were treated as worse than second-class citizens under the Taliban. And so this amendment will ensure what we all, all understand to be the bottom line, that no strategy in Afghanistan can succeed if women are not an integral part of that strategy, if women aren't allowed to have the security, the dignity, the freedom that all people deserve. And so I want to thank Senator Casey again for his leadership, and uh, I hope that my colleagues in the Senate will adopt this amendment because last year when we had the defense authorization, the Senate passed a similar provision by unanimous consent. And so I would hope today that my colleagues would do the same to pass the Casey AOT amendment to promote the security of Afghan women and girls as we look to 
the bilateral, bilateral security agreement, as we look to working with our coalition partners as we are drawing down in Afghanistan, we will not leave the Afghan women and girls behind, and we will ensure that Afghanistan does not become a haven for terrorists again. So I thank you, uh, Senator Casey, and I want to thank you, Mr. President, for allowing me to speak on this very important issue, and I yield the floor.